pass, but when you don't concede goals like they don't, I mean, no. they I think, think they've conceded about an average of half a goal per game under Tuchel. I mean, that's a really yeah. impressive <laughs> stat. And if you don't concede goals, then you're going to be right up near the top of the table at the end. And then add to that somebody that scores goals for fun and any types of goals. I mean, you mm. can cross the ball, be strong from crosses. You can now ping it into him and he can hold the ball up. He can turn, he can run at players. He can sprint in behind. He can virtually score any type of goal. And, uh, and when you've got someone like that in your team, then they're match winners. Well, Michael, talk us through his first goal. How good was this? It was a brilliant goal from start to finish. Um, Kovacic in the, in the middle here, picking the ball up in his own third. But the composure, the confidence, breaks free of Aston Villa's midfield and then plays a quite magnificent ball. I mean, it's an absolute brilliant ball and we'll see it in a bit more detail. But then Lukaku, I mean, he, he obviously could have hit it with his left foot. It's his strong foot. Um, he had the far corner, the near post, either of those to aim for. I would expect him to hit it hard and low into that far corner. But when you're confident, you always seem to make the right decision. And he, he makes the defender, Twanzebe, dive in, opens up the goal even more, makes the finish an even, be an even easy one. But Andy, as a midfield player, you've got to be loving that for a pass. That is a very, very special pass, that is. Um... Again, from an underrated player, I think, Matteo Kovacic, I thought under Frank Lampard, he played very well at times. Hasn't always been everybody's favourite at the bridge, but I thought today he was excellent. That pass splits that defence wide open, allows Lukaku, it gives him the decision then to, to either hit it first time or chop back as he does and finish it brilliantly. Uh, it's, a, it's a stunning goal, very difficult to stop. When the best players play at speed like that, they play that accurately. Um, it's very, very difficult to deny, and Villa couldn't do a lot about it. They couldn't, and you were just saying Kovacic was pretty impressive, and he was the one... ...beautiful finish as well, but pretty much, you know, when you, when you score the goal so soon after half-time, that yeah. would have been a positive for Villa. Believe it or not, even though you're 1-0 down, it would have been a positive atmosphere there. Yeah. We're creating chances, we can get back into this game. And then after four, you know, three minutes, four minutes in the second half, He's it's all over. He does that, Tyrone means. He has these, it's, it's concentration. It's just a, a lapse in concentration. You can see the sort of guy he is. He's always committed and he wants others to do well around him. He's always encouraging yeah. people to stay on it, to keep concentrating. And then he lacks that himself at times. He does. He, he's, he kind of dwells in situations and, and really poor decision and, and, and capitalised perfectly by Kovacic. Well, Lukaku wasn't happy to leave it at 2-0, was well, he? He wasn't, uh, and just following on from what happened to yeah. maybe see that a little bit better. I mean, Lukaku doesn't even look, he's just... <laughs> and I think that's the kind of zone you've been there. You know, the, the best strikers, they, they kind of just have this amazing ability to, even if it is stuck under his feet a little bit, to hit the target. And I think that's what we're seeing from this Romelu Lukaku compared to the one that we, we used to see.